Hello, everybody. What? Welcome back to more of level Hi. one. I love saying that. And today we're going to be starting off level one, where I demonstrate a few things. So in the last part, I don't really remember what we did. I think we started off with simply, uh, I think we started off by, yeah, making warps and stuff. So today, we're going to be, uh, actually changing the door, because I want to. So press F6, you got this open, Keep that, and change the locked. So now we need the key to get there, and that's pretty much what we need to do. So, uh, we're going to test for no reason, just because this is what I usually do. See if everything's still working. No. Yep, seems like everything's working. No. Alright, okay, I didn't save dinner. Yeah. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to save. Uh, I'm just going This is why you need to test. Yep. So, what are we going to do? Yeah, I forgot to press F2. There we go. Now it's saved, and when you reload it, you should be able. To find, uh, hold on, let's go with Fred. Load. I go. hope everyone in. Um, there, video. there we go. We got it. Joel, stop advertising. This is a fucking tutorial. Anyway. Oh, it's a tutorial of how to advertise. So, anyway, we got an idiot now. Uh, Wait, we got the key. We'll start right. I'm gonna demonstrate that later. So, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to start off by taking the left side, because, you know, the left side is always boss. So, uh, I think I made a dungeon a bit too small, actually. Um, okay, no man. <clears throat> yeah, I guess. So, we're going to set up the doors here. Well, are you actually going to publish this? No, we're not. This is not going to be published. So, so there we go. we got a nice little door there. So, we're going to make a nice little Zelda room here. Very old and traditional, as you can see. Yeah. I'm going to put gels. So, you got, uh, if you want to know how I got here, just press the letter of which way you want to go on the enemy list. And yeah. To load up enemies, if you forgot, you got to press E. Or you could just go to screen and then go the long way down the enemies to find out where the fuck it is. There. Or you can click the little Or you can box. click in this box, yeah, but I prefer E, it's the quickest method. Now, I want. Uh, now, what we're gonna do is, uh, I think it's the first time I'm gonna demonstrate how to place items. So, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make people collect a key in this room. So, yeah, it's that simple. So we're gonna press I, and load up the item list. So you scroll down the key and click normal. So this is like small key. So click OK, and it appears on the top left corner. As you can see down here, it also shows what item is. You can either click, uh, you can either click here, and it'll bring this up, and click OK. And you can move it, or you could just click it itself, and you can move it. So. Really? Well, you didn't know? Sure? I never even know that. So let's put it on the top left. Actually, let's put it like here. But the only problem is now, yeah. Well, we're gonna go in and test it out now, and see uh, that we get our key. Shit. So, God, you gotta love this Mega Man. You gotta love Mega Man X, two, three. Oh, there's a little problem. The key is meant to appear when you kill the enemies. Why is it still appeared? You might ask that. That's the whole point of a fucking tutorial! Anyway, um... <laughs> okay. This is so professional. Anyway, uh, what you want to do is you want to press F9. And it brings up the screen data. I go to E flags. Click enemies uh, equals... I, I, I would just say equals, but... Yeah. Now, you click, you check that, and if you want to make a drop from the sky, you gotta click this. I am full, full, full from scene, but nah. So you can do a hold up item. We're not gonna do this because we wanted to stay original. So yeah, so now that that's done. So now when that rule is checked, uh, that that means that all the, that when you kill all the enemies on the screen, it will open, uh, it will bring out the key. So do this, and yeah. So now let's go back and test. So as you can see, there is, in fact, no key. When you kill them all, it appears. There you go. And hold up item works. Success. So we're done with, so we're done with that. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to go north. And we're going to make this a shutter room. So now I'm going to demonstrate the shutters. Which are like lock, which are like closed doors. Well, they're similar to locked doors, and except you don't need anything to open it with manually. 
So we got a nice little Zelda room here, I love. And we're gonna put, uh, Star Foes in here. Star, yeah. Let's see how called Star Foes. I used to pass that Star Foes, but... Star Foes, yeah, we got Star Foes. Look at that. We gotta put a 5 in there. <clears throat> but that's a bit too easy, so we're gonna put Bubbles. Like I said earlier, he's, uh... He's get rid of your sword. They have a jinx, so... We're gonna put in Temporary. Meaning, uh, when you get hit by these guys, um, you'll have to wait 5 seconds before you get your sword back, I think. Yeah, temporary. So, I'll draw about the enemy data I was just looking at. Do I'll explain a lot later. So now we got that. Now, uh, <clears throat> what I want to do here is I want to make sure when you kill the stealth foes, the doors open. But you don't, you really don't need to worry about that because it, it will just open on its own. So you don't, you don't need any flags or anything. Don't have to set up anything. Just need to put enemies, place the shutters. When you kill all of them, they just open. So that's done. We're gonna continue going north, and we're gonna. Now here we're gonna make this an, another shutter, and we're gonna make this one. Think of another Zelda room. I can't, okay, we're gonna make this nice long arc room, or whatever the hell it is. A C backward C. Yeah. And this one we're gonna put the God Dre dreaded War Masters. <clears throat> I gotta put four of them because you know we, we all love War Masters, so you know. <clears throat> um, yeah. If I, I mean, if I do this tutorial in any other task, it'll just be confusing as fuck. So you know. Uh, so yeah, we got War Masters there, and instead of opening the door by killing all the enemies, we have. To, I want to make people push a block to open it. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go flags, we're going to push block, same thing as we did out here back in the overworld, so you remember, right here, got push block, so in here we're actually going to, we're going to place it there, <clears throat> now, we want to make it, we want to, we want to make it more obvious, so, so to do that, you want to actually go down, now if you want, um, so, okay, we're going to demonstrate a uh, dark room as well, so we're going to do it at the same time. So press D, as you can see, you got that line up there. If you press L, it shows you what it looks like. Oh, shit. It shows you what it looks like when it's dark, as you can see that. Yeah. It looks pretty cool, if you ask me. But we want none of this to appear in the middle, so you got to press plus on the, on the little area on the right side of the keyboard. If you don't have that, well, it sucks for you because I have no idea what blood button out would be. So you right click, select combo, right click, replace. Might look like nothing has happened, but if you press L, everything disappeared. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna do that. And we're gonna replace all. So we really see the point of that. Do yeah. that. So as you can see, that's the only block that appears. So I wanna make this block, when you push it, the door will open. But it won't do it automatically, you need to do something for that. So, <clears throat> got a screen, screen data, uh, where is that, anyway, block, equal, block, um, to shutters, or whatever, block equals shutter, whatever. So you click that, now if you notice, this is already checked, because you press D, it shows up this. So, you got block shutters, click OK, now when you push this block, it will open the door, but, you have to remember, you need an under combo, so when you push it, it'll have another tile underneath it. And you have to make sure it's on this color, so you gotta press plus, C set 3, which is color set. So, you go to screen, under combo, set. Now when you push this block, a uh, regular tile will appear on the ground. Now, also, uh, if I remember correctly on the map, I think this was... Okay, the boss is in fact over there, so... Yeah. I appeared to have bossed up a bit then, because I thought this was the boss. Ah, uh, where? Where? I thought this room here would be the boss. Shit. Actually, no, don't worry about it. That's, no, actually, that's okay. That's alright, that's right. Alright. So, continuing, we're going to go on to the next room, where we got ourselves here. Uh, open door. Now, we're going to make a nice little diamond in the middle. This is usually, in, if you remember in the original Zelda, this is where the, the uh, this is where stairs are usually located. So bring us up, make sure stairs A. You can do any other, but you just have to change the tile up. I, mean, I really don't want to go through that. Don't worry about all this other stuff here you're seeing, like all the chests and stuff, and yeah, it'll, that will come clear in a minute. So you click that, 
Now, uh, you want to make sure... Now, the next thing you want to do is, since this is a Zelda room, original, you want there's always traps in these kinds of rooms, well, most of the time. So, place traps, you can either go to screen flags, and go to 34, so you see it's all traps. So, line of sight means when you're in the same line as them, right? like if there's a trap there, and you're on this line, the trap will come straight after you. Whether you're on the whether you're near the top end or the middle end, or on the bottom side, anywhere that's close to you, constant means it just goes automatically, so or automated, I should say. But you want to go four way. Click that and you place them anywhere. But it's a quicker way. Press F9, E flags, corner traps. Now you got your traps in the corner. Now, if, same as before, when you want to push a block, you want to press two and put it there. Uh, and when it's done, now when it's like that, with no, with no flags, remember the, on the combo, when there's no flags, uh, when there's nowhere else, that will uh, trigger, it will just move on its own, nothing will happen. So, besides open path, that's it. So, unlike in this room, when you push a door open, that's because I got the enemy, fl that's because I got the screen data set up. But here there's nothing, so it won't affect anything. Also, yes, I, I deliberately left out this room for something else in a minute. So, yeah. So in this room, we want uh, people to get a bow. Actually, uh, actually, no, no, we want people to get the arrows. I mean, the boomerang, sorry. Actually, no, fuck it, bow. Bow will be good enough. Let's go stick with bow. So special item, remember that. Now, this works differently to the overworld, because in the overworld, when you set special item, it will take you to the cave here, and then you'll have a guy talking to you. Here, what it does is, if you set up your special arm, set the bow, there you go. You, you don't need, uh, you really don't need the guy to be set up or anything like that. What it does is it just takes you into this room, where, surprisingly enough, it's already set for you, so, yeah, I don't know about that one, but, yeah, um, here, it would just take you to this to this room, where it's like the old Zelda got four keys in there. Now, uh, if you want to change the keys in here into some other enemies, you just simply change them from here. Although you don't see the four keys here, it's already set up there. So we gotta change our level. We gotta change it into the C to eight ones. So now when you come down here, you'll see red keys instead of blue ones. Yeah. Now they're still not finished. We still need to set the blue. Uh, you still need to set the blue exit. So this tells, this shows us where you're gonna end up. So when you enter, so when you go in here, and you come out, you end up here. So yeah, make sure you keep that in mind. Now we're gonna test. So so far, every room I've done is the original Zelda room because you know I'm boss that way. So let's do a test out and see if we if we got everything good. Well, so far it seems pretty good. Alright, we've already got a key there, so I'll go in this room. Gotta kill the star foes. Let's do it. Star foes time. I'm gonna die. Die all of you. Oh crap, this is professional. And the doors open automatically because no flags are set, no screen data. In this room, it's dark, it seems to work. And you got wall masters. And as always, when you kill them, the door should open, but not in this case. <clears throat> when you push the block, Door opens. There we go. That works. Also, press F1 to go fast forward if you want. Highly not recommended if you're playing the difficult quest, by the way. So, here, yeah, traps work. And also, yeah, I decided to set them to old fashioned, that kind. I mean, yeah, I, I like that kind of trap stuff. So, push this block. Nothing happens. So, path opens. Go in. Keys are now red. Oh, shit. I thought I could have the boomerang. Yeah, keys are now red. And you got your bow. There you go. All right, bow's there. Seems to work perfectly. Again, not recommended to fast forward, but whatever. When you come out, you appear here. Seems to be working. You don't really have to do this again. Go back. Yeah. Yeah, this really seems to be working. Look at that. 
And also, at the end of this, I might actually want to play through the whole thing just to show what we've done. So, you yeah. know. So that's done. <clears throat> Remember F6, enter, lets you do the continue thing. F6, continue trick. That's really, really good thing you want to do there. Especially if you're playing a really hard quest and you really want to, you know, save backtracking or heart refills. Yeah, it's really recommended. <clears throat> anyway, next thing you want to do is you want to, uh, no, well, now that we're done that side, you don't want to go to the right yet. Well, I'm going to explain why in a minute. So instead, we're going to make this a very linear dungeon. Because it's... it's... linear, I guess. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up instead. So we're going to go north. So in this room, we're going to go... Uh, I wonder what she did. Uh, I guess I could demonstrate the conveyors. <clears throat> or maybe I could demonstrate... Yeah, you know what? <clears throat> so I'm going to demonstrate the step next. So that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, in this room, I'm gonna try and make it... Ah, oh, yeah, okay, I got an idea. So, we're gonna demonstrate water as well, so we got water here. We're not gonna use this, I mean, I really want to, but I wanna stick original, so... We're gonna go original for now. <clears throat> now, we're gonna make this one of those really, really, uh, really tight... We're gonna make this one of those tight rooms in Zelda 1. Well, I wanna say tight, because it's not really that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's not really that tight, but <clears throat> it's not that bad. Alright. Alright, now that's done, I may have fucked up this, so let's go back down to the screen, just copy it off. Yeah, no, no harm there. So, now we got this room. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to place blocks in the middle. So we're gonna place a block there. Now the only way to get across here is yeah. That was another thing I want to demonstrate about water. It's got blue or purple. I don't, I don't know what the hell that is. Right. Well, that was nice. Um, let's go and uh, do some file cleaning. I'm gonna do it after this part. I'm gonna delete everything I don't even need anymore. So anyway, continuing from what the hell I was doing. Um. So I was demonstrating that, uh, uh, yeah, I was demonstrating how to destroy these, no. so, you want to go to select this, step next, and you click it there, and you put it there, so don't, don't bother with that, so step next, oh wait, I think that, oh no, 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 I think, I think you want to, yeah, you want to get secret so. So this game, it's already, it's already set in 16, so... And, yeah. So 16... So 16 is already set, secret tell. And put 17. The reason why, uh, I'm gonna show you right now. So when that um, is... So when that is pressed, flag uh, 16 and 17 will activate. So you wanna... So 16 will change into this. And 17... And 17, yeah, <clears throat> 17 will activate that. There you go. So when you step on that switch, they will activate. So let's put in some more star foes because, you know, again, Josh, shut the fuck up. This is getting them boss that way, so. Uh, yeah. Right, anyway. Um. We're gonna toss this out and then we're gonna stop because, you know, yeah. Let's go and toss it out. So, that's why you gotta use a key, first of all. Shit. Well, there's an arrow, there's an arrow down there. But, stop on this and everything seems to have worked. Let's see if I can, yeah. So, that's also another thing that water can do. If you uh, step inside water, you'll drown. Also, you have quarter hearts, if you can tell up there on top right. Okay, yeah, I think I've had enough explanation. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, done. So, yeah, we're done with that. Save. So, now we know that's done. Um, in the next episode, we're going to continue more with level 1, 
and I'll demonstrate a few more things. So I'll see you next time, guys, and bye.